Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm sat here reading the Daily Mirror and I've come across this brilliant story uh, not literally but yeah, I found it in there, it's on uh, page... seven page seven like, no fucking page, oh, yeah, page on the corner Wait. on page seven about the X Factor Twins. Now, it's about the fact that the X Factor Twins were born three weeks premature and nearly died. Yeah. Now, three months premature, sorry, and nearly died. And uh, they was in an incubator for ages and they're looking to be here and all this other bollocks, you know. No, that's for there. Get more votes. Whether it's true or not, it doesn't matter. I mean, obviously it's true because you'll pitch up in there. But, whether it's true or not, it doesn't matter. They're saying that now because they're in X Factor and they want to get more votes. And that's how stupid things are getting. I mean, you already have people going on X Factor and Britain's got talent, America's got talent, stuff like that. Who oh, have these big sob stories? Oh, I lost my granddad the other week. I said, come on, this, all of this memory, you know, all that other bollocks that they come out with, you know, just to get you to put them through as a sympathy vote, whether they can sing or not. And it's just daft, and it really pisses me off. Anyway, fucking X Factor and that now is a fucking beauty contest in the first place. It don't matter if you can sing anymore, it's if you look good. Now, I can't sing for shit. I mean, I, if you ever fucking hear me singing, God. I'll smash every window in the place, I think. But, um, I'm not a bad looking guy, as you say. Right? I'm not like the ugliest guy in the world. They go, I'm not the prettiest guy in the world. I've been told by several people that I'm quite good looking and I'm inclined to agree. If enough people say it, you're gonna believe them, aren't you? So I'd get through for being attractive rather than whether I could sing or not. Yeah. Whereas Marilyn Manson, say uh, Alice Cooper, Alice Cooper is a singer, isn't he? Yeah. Poison! Yeah, Alice Cooper. If he got a big prosthetic mask on and a wig and that and made him look all really ugly I went on there and sort of some poison your poison run it like that you know, like it does. However he sings it, I don't know. Simon Cowell and Louis Walsh and Cheryl Cole, whoever's fucking presenting judging, whatever, who gives a shit. Would all say you're not what we're looking for. Then he could take his wig off and his prosthetic mask without looking at him, right, with his back to him, and then turn and go, You're poison! And it'll be Alice Cooper, and they'll be fucking flabbergasted. Because uh, Ant and Deck did the same thing. They just obviously, you know, they put his prosthetic face mask on that. And they pretend they're doing from somewhere else and they put the accent on so you didn't know they were Geordies. Which is very hard to do when you actually are a Geordie, put on different accents, fucking hell. And they uh, And they so when Silent Cow said, No, you're not what we're looking for, you know. And uh, it's just the opposite way round. Because Ant's taller than Deck, you know. So you remember them as Ant and Deck. So they stood that way around. And then they started talking to their accent and said, what if we talk like this? You know, I don't know the accent. It was, what if we talk like this is what they said. And they said it in their accent. That's how the camera goes, God, and and Dick, isn't it? And they, just, and they were big singers. And they were uh, PJ and Duncan, weren't they? Let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a fucking beauty contest. I mean, as the girl got through 
in the last series of X Factor. She was blonde, blue eyes, you know, the usual, you know, fucking gorgeous she was. And uh, she couldn't sing for shit. She got through though. That's fucking rubbish. And uh, this extra shit they pull now on a sympathy bollocks. Extra thing to draw more votes. Oh, they nearly died. They were three months premature. Let's vote for them. Let them win. No, it's bollocks. It's a bollocks it's true or not. It's fucking stuff. They know they're probably not going to win by singing alone. So they put this shit in the paper, knowing that people are going to go, and vote for them. Well, if you vote for them, for that reason, like, if you vote for them for any other reason, then you're daft anyway. But if you vote, vote for them for that reason, about the fact that they were prematurely born and that, then you're fucking spastic, aren't you? So, um, then vote for them. Yeah.